everyone. Welcome back to the Storytime Family. I hope you've been keeping well and staying safe at home. I bet you miss school. We all do. Have you been reading lots of books? That sounds awesome. Have you also got to play outside in the sunshine? That's great. Let's have a look at what we have here today. We have the case of the Red Bottom Robber by Richard Byrne. Let's have a look at this book and see what it's about. The Case of the Red Bottom Robber by Richard Byrne. The young chalks were having a fabulous time at the chalkboard when Mrs. Red called them in for lunch. When the chalks came back from lunch, they got a real shock. All the flowers have gone. The chalk started a new drawing, but this time Mrs. Red also drew a big red fence. That should keep the flowers safe while we go in for a story, she said. But it didn't. The flowers had disappeared again. And this time the fence had gone too. Someone is stealing our drawings. Sergeant Blue arrived to investigate and quickly noted some crucial evidence. The culprit is this tall and very dusty. So he rounded up some suspicious looking characters. Too thin, too small, too pointy, too tall, too hairy. Uh, can you turn around please? He's got a dusty red bottom. Aha! Case closed. But before Sergeant Blue could put the culprit in prison, the robber fled in a cloud of dust. And although the chalks gave chase, the robber was too fast for them. The chalks had no idea how they were going to catch the elusive robber. But fortunately, Sergeant Blue had a plan. The robber was sure he had given the chalks the slip, but he stumbled across a very tempting new drawing. Rainbow rubbing, here I come. The chalk suddenly leapt out from their hiding places. Robber caught you! The chalkboard duster felt wrongly accused. I'm innocent. I'm not a robber. I'm a duster. You draw stuff and I rub it out. Then you can draw more stuff. The chalks felt very guilty. They had made a terrible mistake. Sergeant Blue knew how to put things right. They should all chase the duster again. But this time, just for fun. Yay! Someone's got a trophy. And that was the case of the Red Bottom Robber. Did you like the story? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you'd like to hear more stories like this, click on the bell. Give us a like and subscribe. Meanwhile, make sure you read lots of books on your own. Take good care of yourself and your family. And we'll see you back here soon. Take care.